All right, everyone, it may be the time. This may be it. We don't know yet, but we about to find out. Right now, Chantel just told me, after going to the bathroom, that she think her water may have broken. Just now, oh, well, about 10, 15 minutes ago. So we're looking, we're hoping, um, it may be that time for Sydney to come on into this world. Um, we're about to head up to the hospital. Today is uh, January the 28th, it's a Thursday. So let's just hope, crossing our fingers, that she's coming today. Um, let's just hope everything goes well, all right? I'll let y'all know here soon. Well, as soon as we know, all right? All right, we headed to the hospital, Chantel and I, um, to see whether or not, you know, her water broke or whatnot, and see if you, it's time for Sydney to come and join us. So, um, how do you feel right now, love? Which is expected, she should feel scared. I mean, it's her first time having a, a child, it's our first baby together, so. I'm sure she's very, very nervous. I'm gonna try and keep her calm as much as possible. I don't freak out myself, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah. What? So, I'm gonna try to keep her calm as much as possible. Um, but, I don't know. Yeah. It's like my first time too, so I'm gonna go get to the hospital safely. Safe and sound definitely try and see um, what's going on and hopefully y'all get a glimpse of Sydney Joe Marie sometime today or sometime tomorrow we'll see her, we'll, we will see here sometime soon hopefully alright God bless y'all alright we headed up to Samson here we are walking the pregnant mile this ain't no longer than a mile really Headed up to Samsy. Wait, huh? Wait, the you don't believe that, I don't think so. I don't think you believe that. I don't know, we'll see. I what? I've told a lot of patients that. You've told a lot of patients that. Just to forget, get back at you for all the times you said it. This is it. The moment of truth right now. We're about to find out here in a few if this is what it is. If she actually peed on herself or she actually, you know, her water broke. Let's just see. Time will only tell. What do you think it was? What's your, what's your? I told you. What? I can pee myself. You think, no. I don't. Yeah, she, boy, she be, she, one, and then that's what she go tell them too. I, I thought I did. Now she's reaping everything she did when she was a nurse. Wow, because she is a nurse. The things she did to other patients who were pregnant is coming back to her. So here it is. We're walking the pregnant mile. Okay, so um, while Chantel was checking in, she was giving all her information, stuff like that. So now it looks like she really is uh, when she got done checking in it looks like she really is her water has officially broken she says flowing more more now than, than it was earlier so it looks like uh, she feels like it really is her water has broken so we are going to still find out here in a minute they just took Chantel back they'll get her settled in and then i'll go back and find out what's going on we'll find out what's going on so just a quick update letting y'all know what's going on all right see you in a minute pray for us all right so I'm about to head to the car right now, and it is official. Chantel is, her water did break, so she's been admitted. She's in the hospital, she has been admitted. Admitted. So we're looking to see Sydney here within the next 18 to 20 hours, coming here into our lives here on this earth. So I'm excited, Chantel, she's excited. Um, this is what we've been waiting for. So the time is drawing near. Um, so I'm right, headed, right now I'm headed to the car, about to get the rest of the things, her bags and stuff like that, her pillows, so she can be as comfortable as she possibly can be while she's up there in the uh, in the uh, delivery room. So right now um, they gave her some Pitocin to try and help her contractions come quicker and you know more frequent because she wasn't she was having contractions but they weren't she she wasn't feeling them or anything like that. So. 
they've given her Pitocin, and they're going to give it a, give her that gradually and then uh from there we're hoping to see some changes but uh yes yeah, she's officially been admitted and uh we're waiting on sydney to come into this world all right so here we go all right here we are here's Chantel. how you feeling lovely i'm feeling okay right now where are you, where are we at Tell them where we are. Where are you doing delivery? And where we, how far are you, I mean, where are you at in, into the pregnancy right now? What, what are we doing? We're going into labor? All right, but baby, going. What? What are you asking me? Everything. What are we, like, what are we doing? Like, what I'm are they? dilated. My water broke. They have me on medicine to help me have contractions. I'm resting. Okay, there it is. She's resting. She's dilated still three centimeters. When are they gonna check the dilation again? Okay, so she's th it's still three centimeters. She has that. She's not having really serious, serious contractions yet. She's ha she's been having them for a while since we've been here, but she wasn't feeling them at all. But now, um, they gave her the pitocin, like, uh -huh. and I guess that's what it's right there. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, that was good. As you can see, she's getting real serious. Sunday, January the 31st. We're still right here at CMC, but we're about to head out now. Our stay is complete here at CMC. Um, Chantel and Sydney have got their just discharge paperwork, so we're about to head out and head home. Um, it's been a, a long three days, but it's been a, a very a worthwhile three days. It's something that we was um, looking forward to the day that day came and it's gone so it's now time to start our life with baby Sydney being a part of it so we're about to leave here in a few minutes um got a few more things in which we got to do just give y'all a quick look at Sydney right quick see she sleep right now but she was up all night all night so mom Chantel and I were exhausted but you know we gotta do what we gotta do we got about a 15 minute drive home um and then we're you know it is we'll be home it is what it is where's Chantel hi guys how you feel oh it is sure Looking beautiful as ever. I'm not, I'm not, a lot, a lot of sore. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sore. So she's sore. We're both exhausted, tired. That's, that's an understatement. Huh? That's an understatement. That's an understatement. Yeah. More than exhausted, more than tired, but that's where we are. So we're about to leave here in a minute. All right, got yeah, we, I was gonna say, in a minute, we gotta, they gotta give us a quick class on the baby seat, how she be, should be put in there and stuff like that. So, I'm um, about to do that real quick, and then uh, hopefully we'll be out of here by, it's almost 12 o'clock, so hopefully we'll be out of here by 12, 45. Huh? 
Yeah, 1245 or 1 o'clock. So, um, we'll see y'all in a minute. Pretty soon. All right. All right. I'm about to go to the car right now. So I can go get, bring it up to the front so we can get Chantel and Sydney in the car for the first time. Well, Sydney's first time. Our first travels in 2016 for Sydney. So, headed to the car right now. Um, got all the bags. You see, I got Chantel's backpack that she's gonna be carrying around when we go out. Got all the stuff we needed or got out of the uh, hospital. Um, gotta get some paperwork so we can get in the name in the system for army hospitals to do things different so we gotta do some things real quick so they can put her in this give her a name in the system instead of infant they have her as infant davis instead of her actual name so about to go do that right now so first i gotta drop all this stuff off but here we are this is where we at all right everybody i know it's been a bit well, we try to settle in after, you know, getting home. So it's a bit late. It's like 1030 at night here. Um, Chantel and I, over there. she's over there nursing Sydney. Um, we're here back home, settled in. We had some company. A few people want to come by and see Sydney. Yeah, for the first time, for those in here. And then, you know, others came by again. We seen her when she initially arrived. So they wanted to see her again, see how much she changed. Because if y'all don't know, you change a lot or the babies change a lot between uh, time of birth and 48 hours, they, they, they change a whole lot. Why? What? Say that again, baby, what happened? Did you fart it? And what did you say was about to happen, though? <laughs> now, tell me, have y'all heard this? Tell me what you, what you believe, baby. Tell me what it is. No, the pediatrician told us. Okay, say it. That if they pass gas or or your food during during feeding during feeding it, it throws them all off and why does it throw them off what, what happens I don't know they can't just your nose like this I should be fine 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 so yeah I, I mean has anyone else heard this before that you know while nursing that you know especially newborns when they first come out that when they couple of times while she was nursing in the past two, two days, 48 hours or whatever. Anytime she's nursing, she has gas or um, she's using the bathroom and stuff like that. It kind of like she stops nursing and kind of like gets upset. It gets upset because of the fact that what the pediatrician says is because they don't they don't recognize that they're doing some things at once and have, you know, they're new. They're brand new. It's a new life. It's new things for them. You know, they're learning things every day. So, that's just what it is. Um, I don't know. Chantel just thought that she was about to stop nursing just now because she was passing gas. <laughs> oh, but, um, yeah, she's doing great. She's doing great. Well, I'm happy to be home, Mom. I'm happy to be home, Dad. Anyone, please, please, if y'all know, especially if anyone um, that's watching this vlog and know, you know, that's gone through, you know, breastfeeding or whatever, and y'all have any tips to help Chantel and I in regards to, you know, helping with, you know, the comfort of, you know, of the baby latching on and stuff like that, please give us some tips because my wife is over here and she is. So we just need, you know, tips on, you know, things that can kind of soothe, maybe soothe, you know, the transition of breastfeeding and stuff like that. We definitely appreciate it. But with this, we're going to go ahead and end this vlog for the night. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being a part of this vlog and going along with us on this journey as Sydney Joe Marini has entered this world with us. So we thank you again. God bless you all. next vlog. All right.